When people can't take care of themselves, they start to go nuts. Michael Snyder reports the rapidly growing chasm that exists between the ultra wealthy and the rest of us is not good for our society. In recent years, our leaders flooded the system with enormous mountains of money, and all of that money greatly enriched those at the very top of the economic food chain. Unfortunately, all of that money also created a tremendous amount of inflation, which has been crushing the standard of living for millions upon millions of hardworking Americans. We just witnessed the largest decline in real median household income since 2010. The child poverty rate in the U.S. has more than doubled, and this year, homelessness is rising in our nation at the fastest pace ever recorded. So many Americans are deeply suffering right now, and we need to remember that they are real people with real emotions. It can be absolutely soul-crushing to work as hard as you possibly can, but still find yourself falling farther and farther behind. And when people come to the conclusion that they simply cannot take care of themselves, no matter what they do, many of them will start to go completely nuts. Without a doubt, economic desperation is one of the factors that is fueling the massive crime wave that I've been documenting in my articles in recent months. That a theft is going to cost U.S. retailers over, over $100 billion in 2023, and stores are being permanently shut down in our core urban areas at a staggering pace. In fact, so many grocery stores have been shut down in Chicago that Mayor Brandon Johnson wants to create his own social grocery, socialist grocery stores to replace them. Chicago's Democrat mayor wants to create city-run grocery stores to promote equitable access to food after half of the city's Walmart and Whole Food stores closed. Mayor Brandon Johnson announced a partnership with the Economic Security Project to open municipally owned grocery stores in Chicago in a bid to tackle many of the city's so-called food deserts. That's unbelievable. And that is how far the city of Chicago has fallen. Sadly, crime is about to go to a whole new level in Chicago because a new law that eliminates cash bail in the state of Illinois is about to go into effect. Now, Illinois law eliminating cash bail statewide is set to go into effect Monday, officials revealed. And according to NBC's Five Chicago, this comes two months after the state Supreme Court ruled that Pre-Trial Fairness Act, which is part of the larger Safety Act, was constitutional. If you currently live in the state of Illinois, you may want to start considering other options, but it is not just Illinois that's out of control. All over the country, millions of, young, of our young people have come to the conclusion that the system is rigged against them, so they figure that if the system is fundamentally unfair, they should, why should they try to abide by the rules? And many of our young people are now pretty lawless in such an environment. Literally, no one is safe. Unfortunately, this is just the beginning. The cost of living is going to continue to rise faster than our paychecks, and that means that the level of desperation will continue to increase. In Canada, food prices have already become so crazy that the government is actually threatening to take legal action against grocery stores. The Canadian government is taking aim at grocery stores, warning them of big consequences if they fail to provide relief for Canadians by stabilizing food prices by October 9. And this comes amid rising inflation in the country as the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party trails badly in the polls. Speaking at the Liberals' National Caucus retreat in London, Ontario, on Thursday, Trudeau said he expects to hear from them, that is the largest grocery chains, by Thanksgiving on what their plan is to stabilize prices, adding that if their plan does not provide real relief for the middle class and people working hard to join it, then we will take further action and we are not ruling anything out, including tax measures, he said. But the truth is that the grocery stores are not being particularly greedy. It's our leaders that have created this inflation crisis and it's not going to go away anytime soon. In fact, it's about to get even worse because the price of oil is starting to spike. After languishing a multi-year lows until the end of June in the low mid-70s range after Biden drained over 270 million barrels from the SPR to a near record low in hopes of pushing the price of gasoline lower and achieving short-term political goals, 
Oil has since surged by more than $20 to 32% since a low of $71.57 on June 28, its fastest ascent since the start of 2022, a rally that was sparked by Saudi Arabia's decision to voluntarily cut an additional 1 million barrels per day of production, in addition to the reductions agreed by OPEC and the group, thereby initially intentionally creating a production deficit of over 3 million barrels a day. As such, the price is likely to keep rising well into the $100 a barrel, as we first predicted weeks ago, and as Chevron CEO Mike Rith said today on BBG TV, virtually everything we buy has to be transported in some way, and so the price of oil factors into just about everything. So it should deeply alarm all of us that the average price of a gallon of gasoline in the Los Angeles area has almost reached $6. Southern California drivers are feeling the squeeze of high gas prices yet again. On Monday morning, the price of a regular gallon of gas averaged about $5.92 in Los Angeles area, according to AAA. And that's a five cent increase from the day before and nearly 40 cents more than a week ago. What we're witnessing now are things that we have been anticipating for a long time. We really are in the very early stages of a major economic meltdown. As the U.S. economy crumbles all around us, millions of people are going to become very desperate and very desperate people do very desperate things. This is by Michael Snyder. He says about the author, my name is Michael. My brand new book entitled End Times is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written six other books available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End and Living a Life That Really Matters, Commissions Earned. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to families and family and friends. Time is short and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I have also started a brand new Substack newsletter and I encourage you to subscribe so that you won't miss any of my articles. I've published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream and the Most Important News, and the articles that I publish on those sites are republished on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter, and any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is by Michael Snyder on the Economic Collapse blog. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.